real important part of, of our, our lives and our religion is being able to say the rosary and and you learn every year you learn something new. When you're doing it together, it it's family. And maybe we're sending a little bit bigger wave to heaven. <laughs> and a very religious person just here this this week said, Well I prefer being home alone praying. I said, But there's a lot more there and when she found out did she didn't know about the mass and, and the other stuff that was going on, she said, I might have to just go down. <laughs> Everyone from all over Oregon yeah. comes to this. I think know? I think it's cool that a lot of people like enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. unites everyone, all the Catholics around Oregon. Yeah, it's it something really that is. everyone can come to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Each of us, whether in a married vocation or in a vocation to consecrated life or in a vocation to the priesthood or to the diaconate or as a single person in the church, as we go about our daily lives, in our families, in our communities, at work, at play, to do every action, no matter how small, no matter how seemingly insignificant, to do it with the greatest love. No human person has ever loved more perfectly than our Holy Mother. Pray the Rosary and ask Our Lady to show you the way. Our world is in a world of hurt right now. How do we change it? Many of us feel helpless. And I can pray the most powerful prayer outside the Holy Mass, the Holy Rosary. We encourage others to pray it and to do so with understanding and with a good explanation to the other. Because many people have sort of written off this devotion. And for you to simply tell them you should pray the Rosary, they're gonna look at you and say, uh, Help them understand what the rosary is. A prayer of meditation upon the mysteries of God's love for us shown forth in the life of our Savior Jesus Christ and His Most Holy Mother. You are now commissioned as missionaries of the Most Holy Rosary. I know the Jubilee year is coming to a conclusion rather quickly, but we can still finish strong. For those who like sports analogies, this is the fourth quarter of the Jubilee Year of Mercy. This is when we can really win the game, so to speak. So the Jubilee Year of Mercy is the opening of a door or the opening of a new fountain which we live from or walk through the rest of our life. We want our hearts to be a place where Our Lady reigns as Queen. And where Our Lady reigns as Queen, Jesus is free to have sovereignty as the Divine King. And the way we choose to live our day, the time we decide to get up, our morning prayers, the way we go about our day, the way we work, the quality of work we do, all of this is a reflection of whether God is really free to reign in our hearts or not. There is great hope knowing that if we cooperate with good, evil will be uprooted from history.